What are my chances of being a hot ass girlfriend? What? The fact that I just turned on the game and I'm already disconnected. So you guys knew I had, you know, I had strep throat and then like a week later I got, you know, not food poisoning, maybe stomach flu. That was, that was a few days ago. I mean, that was like probably five days ago. And then now I have a fucking cold. Now I have a cough and a runny nose. Like this is just, I just, this is fantastic. And if you guys are wondering, the sore RC is over. It's been over for like a few days now, probably two or three. <coughs> You guys did not know the sore RC is you know over. It's been over for like two days now, and you know I'm actually I'm actually excited. You know I'm stoked to see some friends get in, and you know honestly I don't know if I have a chance. I was so glad that General and all the leaders gave us like a chance to actually you know the content creator side, like more of the content creator side. He actually gave us you know the chance to go for sore. I really appreciate that because you know it's just like I just want to make some videos. I want to make you guys happy, and like if like bigger teams like are actually giving us chance it's just it's so sick and if you guys haven't noticed in like all my videos my door is shut like maybe like my parents come in sometimes all the time like my door has to be closed it's just it's just weird if it's open like even if i'm home alone and i'm, I'm just not doing anything like it still needs to be shut there's no way there's no way I've seen a lot of people, you know, make some videos on Multicod, and you know, like I said, that's fine. It just, it brought back some memories. Like, I've seen some people play, like, MW2, make some videos on that. And, like, I remember those lobbies. Like, I just, you know, I've been playing MW2, like, you know, before BO3 came out, I was playing MW2 and all those. But, like, just, like, for some reason, it just gave me, like, that, just, that feeling. I got MW2, like, you know, when it was released. And I think I got, like, a week after it was released. And I just, I remember, like, the lobbies and shit. Like, obviously, I was garbage. Like, I was, you know, I was in competitive snapping. Like, I like doing sort of destroy and just snapping on there and going to, like, headquarters and whatnot. I didn't figure out, like, the whole team thing and, you know, like, you know, going for clips until, you know, maybe Black Ops 1 MW3. And I don't know, I remember going into lobbies and, like, people would just be, like, you would see, like, the Master of Prestige. I, th I forget what it's, they, they, you would see 10th Prestige in Modern for 2. You'd see 10th Prestige, you'd be like, whole Lee, fuck that guy is definitely a tank there's still that stereotypical you know people think about that because look at this guy dark digger 14 level fuck 100 of course that guy can be a fucking beast just by the, i was that guy just by their level you would realize you'd be like okay this guy is master prestige there's no way i'm gonna fit i would be that guy i would be that guy that would like be sitting in lobbies would be like wasteland dom and like i'd be like okay that guy definitely you know he's 10th prestige and he's definitely the type of guy that's gonna dick on me across the map with the fucking noob too. And I feel like we like take we take gamer tags to you know we take advantage of them because there's some people in some lobbies that like their gamer tag is just it's not what you think. It's the most retarded gamer tag ever. Like it's it's just something so bad. It's like I remember I, I ran into this guy on Black Ops 2 and it's in one of my videos. His name was Twisted Nutsack 47. I underestimated him obviously. His name was Twisted Nutsack level 25 and like honestly he just I didn't see where this guy was going. I thought he was just like the typical player that went like fucking negative by like a thousand and then you know tried to hit clips but he really couldn't. He was like level 25 so I just real I just expect like okay this guy is definitely you know not good. Well Twisted Nutsack you know this decided to be a cocky ball sack in the you know pre-game lobby was talking shit to me and you know he ended up hitting a clip yeah he had a clip he had a clip on me i think it was a quad on like three times raid spawn shot i was fucking heated though because this guy was just talking shit. he was definitely like 12 years old 13 years old and he was just talking smack saying i was garbage and then i suck ball sack and shit well that guy was right because like he literally just dicked on me but i was for sure the guy that would get in the lobby and be like oh fuck that other team has some massive prestiges they're beast. When people found out that you can actually, you know, hack to get to, you know, 10th prestige or whatever, like, it decided that, like, no one actually was gonna, like, you know, show their level was gonna actually make them beast. Yeah, now these days, like, people just hack all the time on those old Call of Duties and, like, just get to Master Prestige or, like, 10th prestige, and you literally do not know if, like, you can actually acknowledge and see if that guy's actually a tank and, you know, took his time to get to 10th prestige. I realized, like, when you couldn't hack the 10th prestige 
and you know I was on Afghan domination and there's another guy on the other team with 10th prestige named Muffin Man 1234 that made me go you know negative by 33 fucking deaths I knew Muffin Man wasn't fucking messing around <laughs>